In his maiden speech, the country's leader, Prime Minister Lawrence Wong, vowed to help Singaporeans realize a refreshed Singapore dream, one that he said was not defined by material success alone, but also offering meaning and purpose in careers and lives. PM Wong said younger Singaporeans, in particular, made it clear through the 16-month forward Singapore consultation exercise to forge a new social compact that they will work hard for their goals. But, do not wish to be trapped in an endless rat race of hyper-competition. I am determined to help Singaporeans realise your dreams, he said in a 20-minute speech on May 15 shortly after being sworn into office. More than 870 guests, including foreign ambassadors, healthcare and transport workers, business leaders, teachers and students, attended the televised ceremony at the Astana. We will find new ways to be more productive and innovative and achieve a better balance where work is purposeful and life is meaningful, PM Wong, 51, added. He pledged to foster a fairer, more just and more equal society, one that will look after seniors, the vulnerable, and those with special needs. The government will support all Singaporeans in uplifting themselves and leading fulfilling lives, regardless of their starting point in life, age or ability, he said. While he and his team will do more in these areas, PM Wong rallied Singaporeans to support fellow citizens and renew their commitment to one another. Then we can build a Singapore where everyone succeeds in being the best possible versions of themselves. He said. We can be a people who are more inclusive, gracious and big-hearted. PM Wong said mutual respect and trust embody the ethos that will guide him and his team as they continue to develop and strengthen the Singapore identity. He noted that the high level of trust among Singaporeans has been the key to Singapore's success. While the country has become even more diverse, with many races, religions and languages, Singaporeans have strengthened their bonds as one people by embracing their differences instead of denying them, he added. We have ensured that every community, every religion and every linguistic group, big or small, feels included, respected and valued, he said. When issues inevitably arise between communities from time to time, their differences are not accentuated, but accepted. He said. Pragmatic compromises are sought, and common ground found as much as possible. Unity is forged from diversity, said PM Wong. It's never about subtracting, but always about adding, he said. It's never about contracting, but always about expanding. This collective striving for unity saw Singaporeans through the COVID-19 pandemic, he noted. Calling it a crisis of our generation. He said the country responded effectively to the pandemic because of the trust among citizens. The way we dealt with the crisis, together, saving lives and livelihoods, deepened our social capital and made us a better and stronger people, he said. The pandemic, which PM Wong said was a baptism of fire for him and his team, reinforced his conviction that the Republic's exceptional performance as a nation lies not in any single person or institution, but in how well it can work together as one Team Singapore. As Singapore navigates a world that is in flux, PM Wong said his government intends to strengthen partnerships near and far and advance the country's interests. A small country like Singapore cannot escape powerful cross-currents in a world of conflict and rivalry where the great powers are competing to shape a new, yet undefined, global order, he said. PM Wong added that this transition, which is likely to stretch for years, if not decades, will be marked by geopolitical tensions, as well as protectionism and rampant nationalism everywhere. 
The implication for Singapore as an open economy is that livelihoods will be hit when multilateralism fractures, he said. As a diverse society, the country will be vulnerable to external influences that tug it in different directions. He added, It is fortunate that Singapore's international standing is high and its brand is admired and trusted worldwide, he said. We seek to be friends with all while upholding our rights and interests. He said, noting that he values the centrality of ASEAN and its efforts to foster regional cooperation and integration. He also expressed hope for stable US-China relations and said Singapore will continue engaging both powers, even as issues inevitably arise between them. The Republic has to adapt to a messier, riskier and more violent world, PM Wong said. As it does so, the Prime Minister said he would engage and maximise the combined energies, imaginations and strengths of all Singaporeans. That is how we take our nation forward in this dangerous and troubled world.